My name is Jan Heimann and I'm working as an engineer for noise and vibration at the company GFAI Tech here in Berlin, Germany. Today I want to show you an application using WaveImage. WaveImage is our in-house developed software which offers all common methods uh, for analyzing vibration for objects and structures. In our test scenario today, uh, we investigate the dynamic behavior of a common car rim. To identify the modal parameters like natural frequencies, damping and mode shapes, we are conducting the experimental modal analysis. As we want to determine the structure's free dynamic properties, we are hanging the car rim into a frame using elastic rubber bands to uh, achieve free boundary conditions. For the structure's uh, excitation, we are using the modal hammer wave fit, which is fully automatic and guarantees single hit excitation. Three laser Doppler vibrometers measure the response of the structure's excitation to get the information from all three dimensions. The main benefit of using this laser system is that it is a non-contact type of measuring, so no additional mass loading of attached sensors which could influence the results. Another benefit is the use of a virtual mesh grid which can be designed differently with regards to the number of the measuring points. So in this case I selected over 400 measuring points over the entire surface of the structure. So after we finished our data acquisition, we load the measurement file into WaveMatch. Here in the middle you see all the single channel data files we've measured. For analyzing our data, we open the experimental modal analysis module. Here you can see um, the user interface of the modal analysis, uh, which is split it into three different sections. On the right hand side you see the result of the mode indicator function which shows the total of all modes. Um, so distinct peaks are indicating the existence of modes. In the section in the middle you see the geometry of the structure you've measured which you can rotate into all three directions. And the last section on the left hand side you can choose your um, analyzing parameters and the algorithm options for the modal analysis. We're going to start this with this particular parameters. After the calculation, you see these blue dashed lines in the mode indicator function, which represent uh, the automatic selected modes by the algorithm. The identified natural frequencies are also listed here in the results table with the corresponding damping ratio in the second column. By clicking on the natural frequencies, the specific mode chips are represented. Whether you want to focus on operating deflection shapes or go for a modal analysis, looking at vibrations of rotating structures by using the order analysis, or even use the simulation tool for predicting the structure's dynamic behavior on a certain loads, WaveImage comes along with a full set of methods to analyze your vibrational data.